Today, we're going to talk about hydration. We need to drink plenty of water or, or fluid in general. It doesn't have to be a specific amount. There has been actually no study that has given an exact figure of how much fluid we need to have a day. So we just say drink plenty. Eight glasses is a great rule of thumb though for people with just a typical lifestyle. But if you're exercising or have got a manual job, um, more, you'd need more than eight glasses. Our bodies are about 60, 70% water. Um, and we need fluid in, in our bodies for blood, for transport of nutrients um, around the body, for muscle contraction, for joints and numerous other body functions. So it's essential that we have water. If we don't have enough, we'll die within days. When it comes to the temperature of your beverages, um, that's not, not so important if you're just drinking routinely and tea and coffee can be useful um, hydrators. However, when you're exercising or doing um, physical labour, the temperature of the fluid is important. The rate of gastric emptying is the speed at which fluids leave the stomach and this is, the, is crucial in, in hydrating. One of the um, factors that affects the rate of gastric emptying is the temperature of the fluid. Cool drinks empty from the stomach more efficiently than hot drinks, so tea and coffee aren't ideal for exercise. Ideally the temperature should be about I think 8 to 10 degrees but it's better to have them too cold. And of course, in exercise, you know, if you've been exercising hard and, and you're hot, having a cool drink gives you a lot of gratification as well. So that needs to be brought into it. Caffeine, or is found in both tea and coffee, but slightly more in coffee, is a diuretic. So if you have a lot of, of um, tea or coffee, the, the, the diuretic effect will come in and you might be losing more of the fluid than you've actually drunk from the, the water that's, that's um, that makes the tea and coffee. However, one um, mug in the morning, one in the afternoon, there's gonna be no diuretic effect of caffeine. It doesn't kick in till you've got a certain amount in your blood. The key for most people to make sure that you're drinking enough is to have uh, a drink near you all day or to have regular sort of times when you have a drink. Like, like we said earlier, eight cups a day is a good rule of thumb. If you're exercising a lot, also make sure you've got plenty of fluid just before, during and after your exercise. The evaporation of sweat from the skin is the best way of cooling. Um, if your body temperature goes up too high, that can be dangerous and of course it will limit your performance. So sweat on the skin is, is, is really important, that's why we sweat. So if you sweat a bit and you start rubbing it away, that's not ideal. Obviously you don't want to get your sweat everywhere in the gym because you won't be popular with the other gym members. but. The sweat's there for a reason, it's to, it's to evaporate and cool you down. Um, some people, you might see on really hot days when they're um, really exercising hard, they actually put some water on the head, on the skin. That's a great idea. That is exactly um, <clears throat> what sweat's for and will actually stop you sweating as much and help, help hydrate you. But drink plenty. The other thing, of course, is, the, um, is, is what is in your drink. We said earlier that tea and coffee aren't the best during exercise because they're um, they're hot and, and cold drinks can be quite um, gratifying, you know, to cool you down. So if you have a, a cool drink, that's ideal. The isotonic drinks um, that contain some of the electrolytes, they're great as well because the relative concentration of electro electrolytes in your, your drink will help hydrate you. Also carbohydrates, some a small amount of sugars in um, sports drinks is great. They're not just there to give you the energy, they're actually there to help the rate of gastric emptying and to, to keep you hydrated. If you're a regular consumer of Huel, you'll be getting plenty of water when you um, mix up your Huel, but don't forget to drink a lot more water during the day as well. To sum up, the key points are, drink plenty of fluid and spread the drinks throughout the day. Um, it's always a good idea to have a drink nearby. If you exercise a lot, you'll need to drink more, especially around the time that you're actually um, training. And you sweat for a reason. You sweat to cool you down, so splash some water on the skin and don't wipe the sweat away unless you really need to. I hope you found this video on hydration useful. If you want more information, please um, see Huel.com and don't forget to subscribe to the Huel channel on YouTube. Thank you.